I'll tell you guys, I wanted to report on this story because there seems to be so many people passing away, so many fan favorites. And uh, it's just very, very, uh, you know, concerning and interesting. And our hearts go out to their family, to their loved ones. And so I wanted to cover this story. It is being reported, as you probably have heard by now, that Friends co-star Matthew Perry has died at the age of 54. We have outlets like the Los Angeles Times, TMZ, others, Yahoo, who are reporting the news. So I'm going to read a little something, something to you just to give you a few more details, at least what we know at this time. Okay. So it says here, Perry has died. He was 54. According to reports, Perry was found at a Los Angeles area home where he appeared to have drowned. The Los Angeles Times reports that authorities arrived to Perry's home at 4 p.m. where he was discovered unresponsive. Foul play is not suspected. The investigation is ongoing and no cause of death has been released. Okay, goes on to talk about how outlets have reached out, as I said, to various people to try to get more information. Then it goes on to share some information that most of us know. Perry rose to fame on the sitcom Friends, in which he portrayed Chandler, for 10 seasons. Following his time on Friends, he returned to TV again for starring roles in short-lived comedies like Studio 60 on the Sunset Strip, Mr. Sunshine, Go On, and a reboot of The Odd Couple opposite Thomas Lennon. 2021, he reunited with his Friends co-stars in May of that year for a reunion special on HBO Max. On the big screen, Matthew Perry starred in films like The Whole Nine Yard, 17 Again, and Fools Rush In. Last year, Perry released a memoir titled Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing. In the book, the actor chronicled his struggles with substance abuse, as well as, excuse me, substance use, as well as detailed his complicated relationship with the spotlight. Following the release of the memoir, he spoke about some of his private health struggles for the first time, including a 2018 incident in which his colon burst from opioid use. The doctors told my family that I had a 2% chance to live, Perry told People magazine. I was put on a thing called an ECMO machine, which does all the breathing for your heart and your lungs, and that's called a Hail Mary. No one survives that. In an interview with the Washington Post in November of 2022, Perry said of his memoir, quote, it's putting me on the map and people are talking about me again. That's nice because it's been five or six years where there was none of that. Sometimes I think I went through the addiction, alcoholism and fame all to be doing what I'm doing right now, which is helping people, close quote. So guys, that's what we know at this time. Again, this was all released. It came out about an hour ago, um, Eastern Standard, excuse me, Pacific Standard Time. And um, this is very um, heartbreaking, of course, for his family, his friends, for fans of Mr. Perry's. And I will tell you guys, um, as I said at the top, there have been so many people that many of us love um, who have passed away just within the last several months. It kind of reminds me of what happened at the end of last year going into this year, 2023. It seemed like some of the greats, Betty White and others, that we loved, that we liked, that we admired, just all just left, it seemed, in such a small amount of time around the same time. So uh, we will follow this story if more information comes out. Of course, you already know there are reports out there uh, that are saying that it's possible that this was some sort of overdose. Um, that information we can't confirm. Uh, but of course, as more information becomes available, I will bring that to you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. My view, my opinion, the MVMO podcast. We'll talk again. Bye, guys.